Hey, hey, in today's video, we are going to be sharing with you some insanely useful Canva tips and tricks. Stay tuned. Canva is absolutely one of my favorite tools. If you're a graphic designer or not a graphic designer, there are still so many things that you can do inside of Canva. So today we're gonna take you behind the scenes of Canva and show you some really cool tricks. Hey, I'm Abby Ashley, founder of The Virtual Savvy. We teach people how to make money working from home. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the bell so you are notified when I release a new video every single week. All right, if you haven't already used Canva, you definitely should be. Canva.com, there is so much that you can do. You can create beautiful graphics, slideshows, Instagram posts, stories, PDFs, eBooks, even videos. I mean, Canva is just amazing. If you haven't discovered it yet, uh, you should. So I thought I would show you some fun things. If you're already a Canva user, some of the things that I didn't even know existed until I started doing some digging in and some research for this video and found out, oh my gosh, there's so many cool things that I didn't even know that I could do inside of Canva. So let me show you some of the top things that I discovered. Okay, so let's say that I'm going to be making business cards, right? All right, they have templates for all of these. So business card. All right, I'm just gonna do any kind of a blank business card here. Um, so a really simple one. So one of the things that I think is great is to put, you know, your website, put your phone number if you want to, uh, definitely put your name and your business. But one of the things that Canva enables you to do is to put in a QR code. So what you're gonna do in order to find that QR code is you're gonna scroll all the way down on this side menu until you see these three dots that say more. And for me, it just pops up here, but if it doesn't, you could even just search. You could type in QR and you put the QR code in here. And so let's say I want to send people to my website. I can do that and it will generate a QR code for me that I can put onto my business card. All right, tip number two, did you know that you could actually create a landing page for your business if you don't have time to create a full website just yet and you're like going to a networking event really fast and you want for people to be able to see something if they go to your website, you can actually create a website right here in Canva. So I'm gonna type a website into the search bar and you're gonna see right here, it's one of the options that it gives you. So you can of course choose from so many of their different templates. I'm just gonna choose one that looks really simple. So we'll go with this one. So I swapped out the template really quickly. Obviously you could do more customizations, make it your brand color, put in your own unique personality, but you can see pretty quickly I was able to create just by changing a few of the wording, maybe putting your own picture here, changing this to book a call. I was able pretty quickly to create a website that looks good. And then what's cool after I've actually designed this, right? And I mean, this could even just be your coming soon page if you wanted to. So you can do publish as a website. And then if you already bought your domain from somewhere else, you would click this and follow the instructions there. You can actually buy domains through Canva now, which I think is crazy. I had no idea you could do that. Uh, I normally use Namecheap to buy all my domains, so I would be using this one. Or if you're just wanting to get something up super, super quickly, you can even just do the free domain. I'm gonna type the savvy assistant here. And so it's gonna be a really long domain and I can put in, you know, my site description and everything here. Um, but once I publish it, it's actually literally going to be a live site. Okay, so something else that's really cool that you can do inside of Canva is do presentations, like screen record your presentation. So for instance, if you're going to do, um, you're gonna send a video training to be uh, in front of an audience or you're gonna have a video training on your website or you're gonna create a YouTube video like this, right? You could literally do a presentation, which I already create all my presentations. I use this presentation one right here, but what you could do, let's see, this is a presentation I've created already. I can go in, so here's the presentation. Here's what I want to do the screen recording. 
watch this guys this is really cool so i usually just do present if i'm doing this live right but if i want to screen record it so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to these three dots and see this present and screen record guys this is so cool all right so i'm going to click do the screen record record yourself while talking over a presentation so it's literally just like what i'm doing here right but inside of canva um so go to screen recording studio so here's the studio and okay it's gonna want access to my camera and mic so um i'm gonna start recording i'll probably have a double camera here since i'm already using a camera okay but yay see now it's actually you can see this what's in this red box is what's recording and i could add my own design notes i can go through and i can do my presentation and it's actually going to record it right here inside of canva how cool is that i love it Okay, so maybe you already knew this one, but I didn't. So here's just a quick Instagram post that I created. And so if you want to curve your text, then you literally just take any text that you've done. You could add new text too, right? So I could add, uh, I could add some text here and say, I want to say, I'll make that bigger this might not be the most beautiful thing but you guys will get the point <laughs> okay I didn't even spell it right there we go I want to say here's here's what I want to show you ready so I can highlight it like this and then go to effects and curve there's all types of effects I can do here but I wasn't aware that I could do this curve one so I can actually even decide how much I want to curve the text see so I can have it like just like a little bit curved. I could curve it this way, right? And then I could have curved text on my image. Pretty cool. There are also some really helpful shortcuts that you can use inside of Canva. Like if I want these images to just stay together, like I want to move this entire thing, um, I could go up here and click group, but I could also just click control G, right? Or command G on a Mac. And once I've done that, you saw it actually switched it. And so now this is all grouped together. And so when I move one thing, the whole thing moves all together. So those images are now grouped. I also all the time do just copy and paste. So uh, again, if I wanted this image to be, uh, let's say I wanted more of these sparkles, I could do um, either control C or command C on a Mac and then control or command V. So just like you would copy paste on a other computer, so that copy and paste feature is one that I use a lot as well. Canva even created this really cool infographic. I will link to it below on all their different keyboard shortcuts. I'm definitely gonna be using more of these in the future. All right, another feature that I end up using a lot is this remove background feature. So let's say that I'm, I put this picture here and then I can actually click on the picture and where it says edit image, one of the top things here is background remover. It's like one of the featured. There's a lot of different things you can do to the photo, but this background remover, it's only for, for pro users, but it's really cool. Watch this. Okay, so literally it's gonna just think a second and then it's going to totally remove the background from this image. It's so neat. There it is. Okay, so now I literally can just like have just me in this image. Isn't that so cool? So another really cool feature is the search bar and I probably don't use this enough as I should. Um, but if I go to elements, it literally is going to pull in everything. It's going to pull in shapes and graphics and photos. So I can go up here to search and let's say I just want to type in coffee, right? Look, it's going to come up with images. It's going to come up with, I mean, sometimes they're even like little GIFs or videos, but it's gonna give me all of these different options. And so I end up using this search bar uh, quite a bit. All right, another feature that I find super cool is that you can copy images from your website or any site and just paste them right into Canva. So here I am on my website and here's an image. So I can literally right click, copy this, and then just do command or control paste. And now I have that image just right here. So cool. Another feature that I think is really cool is this tidy up feature. I don't know if you've used it before, um, but essentially I could go and I could shift, uh, you know, these numbers, I want them to be all lined up. 
I could shift select each one. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take my mouse and drag it over all the things that I want to highlight. And so all of these numbers are selected now, right? So um, what I could do, I go under position, I could just push them all over to the left, right? But that doesn't help the spacing. See how they're not equally spaced. So instead, let me undo that. Um, what I can do is do position and just this tidy up feature. And this is actually going to position them all centered and evenly spaced, which I think is super, super cool. So then I can go in and I can just make it look oh so good. All right, so another element that I think is really neat is the color picker option. So let's say I've, you know, I have an image and I have this text here and I really want this text to be the same color as something in the image, maybe, you know, this green or maybe, you know, one of these colors. So I'm gonna go to the color and you could do this for other things too, right? For backgrounds, for shapes, whatever it is. Um, so there's all, there's like my brand colors that are inside my brand kit, right? Um, but I can also click this plus sign to add a new color and do this little dropper. And whenever I do this dropper, I literally can go over different places inside of the picture and find a color that would um, work for what I want. And I can, like I said, I can do this for the background as well. So I could just say this background image, document, do the dropper and do, you know, a darker color right there. So then all of my colors really match the image. Okay, so something else that is really cool are collections. So I'm gonna type in the word pen here because I'm gonna have an image of a pen inside of um, this that I'm creating. And I'm looking down, oh, and I really like this. I really like that mug. So there's these magic recommendations. You can say see all, or I could even just right click on this and it says see more like this. Okay, and so what's gonna happen now is if I really like this image and maybe I wanna add more, you know, images like it, there's images that are really similar that are gonna pop up. And then even with some of these, like these down here, I can right click and there's view collection. And it's literally, so these are all ones that are similar, but some of them are actually inside of an entire collection that are meant to go together. You can see how these all have the exact same style. So I can view this entire collection. And if I want to add these, it's just really easy to, you know, add something that looks really, really uh, cohesive with those collections. So let's say that I want an image that actually looks like my website, like somebody is visiting my website and it shows it on the picture. You guys have seen those, right? And they look so cool. Well, and it's like, how did they do that? Well, here's how it's done. Here's how you can do a mock-up inside of Canva. So first I'm gonna do a screenshot of my website. It's Command Shift 4 on a Mac and I'm just gonna screenshot my website. Okay, so I've got that screenshot and I can go ahead and I can um, just drop it in as one of my uploads. Here it comes, there we go. Okay, so there is my website, it has my face on it, isn't that beautiful? So, <laughs> okay, so now what I have here, I can just click on it and this edit image button is gonna come up. And when I do that, one of the things is called smart mockups and you can scroll down and you can see them here. You can do see all. And so guys, this is so cool. So I can literally, um, I could have this, I mean, you could have it on anything, someone wearing a t-shirt or a book. You can see there's all these options, but look, see these, um, there's a lot of laptop options down here. Here we go, all the computers. So here's a bunch of different options. So it can literally look, I'm just gonna click on this one and watch what happens. Ah, oh, you guys, this girl is looking at my website on her computer. How cool is that? Isn't that the neatest thing? I saw this and I was like, I am absolutely obsessed. So um, there's a ton of different options as you saw. There were the PDFs, the phones, different things like that. So you can use this in a variety of ways. But this is my final tip for you and I hope you love it as much as I do. If you are ready to get started in your virtual assistant business, I've got a freebie just for you. It's my virtual assistant checklist and starter kit. It's a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do next to get your business up and running. You can download it at thevirtualsavvy.com slash checklist. All right, you know what we do here at The Virtual Savvy to end our videos? We beatbox it out.